Beyonce here with Trey Armstrong, and we're doing an interview for Verb Girl online. Welcome, Trey. Thank you for having me. No problem. So we see your show every week on So You Think You Can Dance Canada, and I'm just curious, what's your favorite thing about being a judge on this show? That I get to say what I want, <laughs> and people actually listen. <laughs> like, I don't have to say, hey, excuse me, you, yeah, you over there, I, I'm talking. People actually hit us back and say, oh my gosh, what you guys are saying hit my heart, or oh my goodness, I don't agree with what you said, but I heard you, and we like that. Yeah. That's good, so having a voice, finally. Um, what's your greatest passion in life? That's a hard question. Um, my greatest passion, I believe, is just to give back to people. And, and for that reason, I've, this year I've created my own foundation called Trey Armstrong's Give Back Foundation. And that's exactly what we do. We just like to give back through the performing arts and dance. So anything to do with youth and kids, that's my passion. That's what it is. Perfect. So I know you come from many different facets of life and you're very well-rounded. Can you tell our audience what you do as your person? Well, I hope I'm well-rounded in this answer. Um, okay. When I'm not being crazy, um, running around doing my own business, being an entrepreneur, and when I'm not on the show, I actually like to just sit back and read and listen to nothing. I know it's boring. I, I, I know, I know it's really boring. But the fun side of Trey is I like to do basketball. So I go back to my athletics and uh, I play a pickup game of basketball with a league every Monday. So shout outs to the team. And uh, we haven't actually played yet with me on the team, but we'll start next week. So, so you're gonna start winning now that you're on the team. I hope so. Well, we've been winning, but I hope we continue. <laughs> That's good. So where did you start off? You, you did dance and acting mm -hmm. and so what is your advice for young girls that are trying to pursue this in their life? Just because you've done so much and you've started off with dance and et cetera. So what's your advice to all these girls? Well, thank you for at least giving me those kudos. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, I basically tell people, if you don't take the risk, let's say that you're in a middle class family today and you want to be a millionaire. Well, for you to get rich, you have to take risks. And if you don't, well, you're just going to end up where you are today. So you lose nothing or so you, lose, you lose a lot and if you don't do it and you'll gain even more if you try it. So just do it, just do it. That's excellent advice for our viewers. Um, how are you making your mark in society as a Canadian woman? Wow, that's a huge question. Uh, I think I have to just go back to what people usually tell me and uh, they usually say things such as, we like that a young black woman in society has no problem portraying the classy and the sassy side of herself. I, I definitely have grown from the streets, but there's also an elegant side to me as well. So it's okay to play both dimensions of yourself. Even as a woman, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still a tomboy, you know, and yes, I'm in gloves and boots and jean, you know, jeggings today, <laughs> but um, when I'm at home, it's jogging pants. So don't be afraid to be yourself. That's going to be the best way that you get to. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. It's just cold. Um, don't be afraid to be yourself. That's the best way you're going to actually affect somebody in life. Tell us about your latest projects. Okay. Well, what we have going on right now is I have a company called A New Day. <clears throat> Excuse me. And A New Day stands for Dance Academy for the Entertainment Industry. So we take young ladies like you. And we say, what do you want to know about the industry through dance? If you want to know anything, we're your people. We do workshops, we do seminars, and most importantly, we do programs for the community. Like I said, it's really huge that I give back to the community. Um, through the foundation, Trey Armstrong's Give Back Foundation that is coming up, we're also going to roll over our dance program called Detour. And right now in Parkdale, we do an urban dance program for young girls mm -hmm. age 14 to 20. And it's 12 weeks, free of charge. We're not charging anything. It's not about the making money. It's about giving back. So we take them and we, we develop their dance skills. We bring them from beginners to professionals in 12 weeks. And how do we get a hold of you? Or how do we find out where these things are happening? Like just through your website, just online? How do we register? Everything, definitely online. Um, Detour is closed right now, but we're going to be going again and hopefully opening it up to more communities. So you can go check us out at www.anewday.com. And day is spelled D-A-E-I. Remember, dancers, Dance Academy for the entertainment industry. Or just check out treyarmstrong.com.
Okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So with your uh, start a new day, uh, who is it funded by? Well, we have for a new day, the dance program called Detour. It's funded by Art Reach Toronto in part with Laidlock uh, Foundation. So really huge that we got this pilot project off the ground this year. Perfect. And so now you have all these young dancers with so much potential. How do you know who can make it? Do you see it in these girls? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we I went to Parkdale Collegiate personally and made the announcement. And that night we had over 50 girls come out to the first meeting. And of the 50 girls, over half of them said they wanted to be in the program. So right away, we know that you want it, you know, without us even seeing you. Uh, we chose, we were able to choose uh, 14 people due to the funding. And of those girls, we see around, I'd say a comfortable four that if they started right now with our company, we would develop them. And it's not about the money. It's just about whatever we can bring you in on, come on in, because they actually have talent to become professional entities. The other ladies, they do it to dance, to be have fun, but also to get a sense of community involvement, a sense of worth as young ladies in their community. And you know, we yeah, we go to school a little bit without going to school. We do uh, confidence training. We build up their self-confidence, their self-esteem. We look at uh, responsibility, putting that in, and we also mentor them. Very nice. And so if I was a dancer yes. and you saw so much potential in me, how would we go on to do this? How would you, like, pursue me? Well, I would say, first of all, you're an online kid. So do you have anything online about yourself? It doesn't matter what it is. It could be just a camera right here and you're just talking. That's cool. Do you have anything dance online? Do you have an email? You must have an email. And if we can get an email right there, we've already started the engagement process. And from there, we talk to you. And what do you want? Like, honestly, it's not about what we want to give you. What do you need from us to become the person you want to be? Perfect. So for all you dancers out there, this is how you do it. Talking to Trey through email. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can call us as well. We have phone numbers, but check us out on website, uh, www.anewday.com, D-A-E-I for day, or www.treyarmstrong.com.